what is that guy doing in there? Look at that. How is he gonna pass those guys? How are we gonna pass him when that traffic light turns green? This is insane. So guys, the first morning post lockdown. Yeah, as I have said in the video yesterday, it was off to such a strange start. The first and the last two days were very relaxing. I don't know why I'm saying this, but to be true with you guys, I am especially mentioning the first two days because I ended the day early after having my surgery done. And that was a doctor's advice. Like I had a surgery and it was relaxed and I didn't do neighborhood exercise on the first two days. And yeah, I relaxed. I relaxed the first two days. And then the last two days, in a way that I was rather excited, I wanted to do extra neighborhood exercise and I did extra neighborhood exercise on the last two days compared to the others to keep better, to keep better control of my set counts yesterday is the first day after. The day zero evening, which was the same date as my teeth surgery, 5 p.m. you might have not seen the clip in the vlog, 5 p.m. I did one more street exercise, a short one, and I went back into the neighborhood and did a walk and that was that. Two hours later I ended the day. That was such an active day too, to be honest. And yes, now eight days remain until we start going abroad where I'll get my jab for Johnson & Johnson. And it is a fantastic day outside today. Even though there's some clouds in the sky, it is wonderful. So that was one day before the lockdown at my teeth surgery had been taken care of. Three days before the lockdown, one day after the announcement, that's when I had my last barber's appointment. And we've been debating whether I would need another one before we go abroad or not. And for now, it doesn't even look like I need it at all. The previous day before a barber appointment, that's when the last time the government met and announced such day that only experts have predicted like super advanced experts. And today there's another one of those meetings after three weeks. Usually it happens every two weeks, but this time with a three week break. And actually the most important reason that they put the lockdown is just to make it easier for the summer season. Like to secure the summer season, the tourism season, just so we can enjoy the vacation season well enough. So yeah, they had announced that the last time the government met, they had announced the lockdown just to make it easier for us to travel as much as we planned during the summer to secure the season of tourism. And today is the next day that they meet. I am hoping that it will be some good news, but it better not be any bad news. I, I don't want to hear any crappy news after seven weeks. So we've been spending 90 minutes at my dad's house. We were planning to go to my grandma's sooner, but at the moment she's asleep. And usually at this time, She's asleep, but we are going to prepare for a post-education party later this week on Friday. And so throughout the week, we will get the balloons ready. Yes, on the day that we were looking for the balloons, we had already got some for my birthday and as well at the same time for my grad party. So I already showed you guys these 
balloons, the colorful ones. And there, other than that, we got this. Congrats, grad, finally. And then got some in the star shape in the color gold. And as well in silver. Other than that, we got grad with the letters. And that with the stars again, completely in gold and some gold and silver stars on the other side. Let's see what else we got. Oh, all those are the tissues and stuff. And the parties here. Yep, I already showed you those four weeks ago. That construction, man, it just, whoa. What is that guy doing in there? Look at that. How is he gonna pass those guys? How are we gonna pass them when that traffic light turns green? This is insane. Well, these people are lucky to be able to move. Oh, what is this guy doing? And then after that, we got to my grandma's look. The room has changed so much since the last time we came here. Look, they even had this sewing kit. And look at the new floors. Look at that. It just looks so much better than how it was during the construction. Yep, the construction has gone even further alongside, but at least for this part, it looks pretty good. pair of jeans just shirt or two We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back It doesn't matter if it's true I've got a feeling love will give us what we like The world is waiting up The world is waiting half a step beyond our door yeah. And if it's not enough I wanna see the stuff the world has got in store uh -huh. Right, yeah Got that done Got some lawn mowing done too Right near my aunt The house is closed I mean, It's fully closed, like no one's in there Everything is closed in that house And there's some lawn mowing going on Now to my grandma's yeah. Okay, that was a fantastic semi-exercise. The reason why I call this a semi-exercise is I, number one, I didn't run. And number two, I did mostly straight walking without any uphill or downhill. It was mostly straight. Then that's when I would call it a semi-exercise. It was pretty good, although it was pretty warm, even here. It's pretty warm. I might need to open this window. It feels quite humid in here too. But due to this sewing kit, can't really open all the way that much. And you don't even feel the fresh air coming in at this moment. So we are sewing. At the moment, we got this black thread. We got it in five different colors out of this sewing machine. So other than that, we got one in red. We got one in gunmetal, one in white, and one in burgundy. The black one is already placed at the moment, but yep, we have a sewing machine now. Yeah, this is a new look, this room. And one other thing is that there are no cats here. It is a cat-free day at my grandma's house today. terrace and beautiful sunset wow look at that when the sun shines it looks like these trees are even brighter green like the color of a quince yeah guys so this was 
a pretty good way to meet up with family again post lockdown this is a coincidence that on the first day of post lockdown last year we had been to my grandma's house as well it wasn't too many people but it was a coincidence i can't say imagine next year's lockdown lasts 137 days i mean of course i'm very sure it wouldn't be that many days i think it'll be if there is a lockdown next year i'm gonna take it as easy to say that it won't be any more than 55 days so i am still going even if there isn't i'm still going to do this quarantine challenge especially that big challenge that i'm going to represent myself as mr different as i have been speaking about many times about the recent days 230 hours 254 hours and the fact that i made a film about it once strange these girls out there are laughing about me being mr different i don't know why these post sunset clouds and that shade of orange what a sunset yesterday we had a similar sunset to this all right guys as always 10 a day it is 8 27 p.m yep it was a pretty long announcement they didn't talk too much about SARS-2 in today's announcement well at least it wasn't bad news and I knew that wasn't going to be bad news and it shouldn't have been anyway already more than enough times we have heard bad news some crabby news in the previous meetings and it was just difficult to get over with for the period and now here we made it at least it wasn't too much good news, but at least no bad news. I'm happy with the fact that there's no bad news. Like, at least I'm happy with that. And it should have been that way anyway. Otherwise, what is the public going to do about it? Yeah. People left the city. People were literally leaving to their summer houses. And they were, they were like panicking. They were getting on. Uh, my God, it was just a panic. They were getting in their vehicles and public transports that would take them to summer places, all that. Anyway, guys, so I'm not going to discuss too much about that. Later in the week, we are going to do one more car picnic before our vacation. Me and my dad have made an agreement on that. And then on Friday, it will be the grad party with the family. And it's not going to be that similar to you remember the Halloween party that we had in October 2019. Well, it's definitely not going to be the same number of people. And that was the Halloween party. So, of course, it was night, like the nighttime hours, except this is going to be more like a grad party. And it might be at my aunt's house, the one that we've discovered twice, because I have two aunts. One very close to my grandma's house. <laughs> yeah, one of my aunts lives very close to my grandma's house, like just some hundred steps away. Anyway, guys, that is all to have spoke about for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. This was a fantastic first day of post-lockdown. I'll see ya.